When you go fishing at Gulf Shores, right off the bat, you're met with a multitude of options. You can explore the bays and lagoons close to land, fish the wrecks a few miles off the coast, or head out even deeper into the Gulf for big game fit. We'll try to do it justice and go over the top spots, catches, best times to head out, and everything else you need to know ahead of your trip. But before you grab your rod, be sure to like and subscribe to watch more videos about the hottest fishing spots around the globe. We'll start our journey inshore where you'll find some of the Gulf of Mexico's most prized shallow water game fish. Species like redfish, speckled trout, black drum, sheep's head, and many more are available when fishing in Gulf Shores bays and lagoons. The most iconic fish looming over the area's grass beds and oyster reefs are redfish. They're available year-round with three distinct peaks in the spring, fall, and early winter. Focus on areas with structure as well as spots where the water is moving such as inlets to increase your chances of success. The next on your bucket list should be none other than speckled trout. They pretty much share the same seasonality as redfish, but you can also target them in summertime as they move to deeper waters in search of cooler temperatures. Another top catch in Gulf Shores is sheep's head. Due to their abundance, accessibility, and predictability, they're a popular target for all skill levels. They're commonly found around piers, bridges, and docks, which make them super accessible to anglers without a boat or who would prefer to fish from land. A bit further off the coast, you can experience the quintessential fishing trip of Gulf Shores and the reason why thousands of anglers descend upon the town each year. Red Snapper. When the federal season opens in the summer, the race is on. Both state and federal waters have strict regulations though, so be sure to plan your trip ahead of time. And that's not all. There are countless other bottom dwellers you can target over the reefs and wrecks that are dotted along the coast. Species like triggerfish and various types of groupers and snappers are all available throughout most of the year. Then there are all the pelagic fish you can catch around the same area like Spanish and King mackerel and cobia. And for all you deep sea fanatics, you'll find amberjack, wahoo, tuna, and many more in even deeper waters. As you can see, there's no shortage of fish here. That leads us to our next question. Where are some of the best areas to find them? Well, we can't talk about fishing in Gulf Shores without mentioning Little Lagoon. Its sheltered waters contain grass beds and sandbars that create suitable habitats for many of the inshore species we mentioned before. This means it's less affected by wind and other weather changes, providing a more stable fishing experience for beginners. Perdido Pass, located between Orange Beach and Gulf Shores, is another excellent area to get started. The pass's moving water creates favorable conditions for bait fish to congregate, which in turn attracts a slew of inshore fish. Another top spot is Dixie Bar, a sandbar connecting Mobile Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. Its unique underwater structure and strong currents also create an ideal ecosystem for many of these species. Then of course, you got Gulf State Park Pier stretching 1,500 feet into the water. If it gets too crowded, check out Cotton Bayou Public Pier over in Orange Beach. And finally, you can't say you went fishing in Gulf Shores without exploring the reefs. There are over 17,000 of them to choose from, making this region home to the largest artificial reef system in the US. You've also got wrecks such as the Liberty Ship that contain plenty of amberjack and oil rigs even further off the coast where you can target bigger pelagics, including billfish. So now you know where to go and what to catch, but let's take a look at some of the different ways you can go fishing here. One of the most common and straightforward, especially if you've got your own gear, is pier fishing. Gulf Shores and nearby Orange Beach are full of them, and for usually no more than $10 a day, you can cast until your heart's content. From Fort Morgan to Perdido Pass, there are miles upon miles of shoreline that are perfect for surf fishing. In fact, some of the most productive fishing spots in Gulf Shores can be found from shore. Hit the beaches and jetties and target some of Alabama's most prized fish without ever stepping foot off land. However, in order to really increase your chances, you'll have to get to some of the more secluded spots in the area. Kayak fishing is the perfect solution. It allows you to navigate calm inshore waters while stealthily targeting species like redfish and speckled trout. And then finally, there's charter fishing. In order to fish the reefs, wrecks, oil rigs, or any other harder to access locations, you'll need the right type of boat and gear for the job. Partnering up with a local captain provides expert guidance that will take you right to where the fish are. Just download the Fishing Booker app or visit us online to browse the largest selection of fishing charters in the area and book your trip. But before you do, it's important to familiarize yourself with the local fishing regulations. First and foremost, all anglers 16 and older must have a valid Alabama fishing license on them when fishing in both fresh and salt water. 
However, you don't need to purchase one if you'll be hopping on a saltwater charter, as the captain's license covers everyone on board. Please be aware of any closed seasons for specific types of fish like snapper, grouper, and amberjack as well. And last but not least, Alabama has size and bag limits for various species like redfish, speckled trout, and sheepshead. For more information on licenses and regulations, you can check out our full blog article or visit OutdoorsAlabama.com to ensure you're fishing safely and responsibly. And when you're ready to check out Gulf Shores for yourself, download the Fishing Booker app or visit us online. You'll be able to browse and compare fishing charters, read customer reviews, and book your trip in just a few taps. So what are you waiting for? Head over to the App Store or go to FishingBooker.com to experience fishing in Gulf Shores today.